Hi everyone, it's Carly Hall again with Silhouette America, and today we're talking about Silhouette Studio Mobile, our new mobile app for tablets and compatible devices. In order to get started, if you haven't already seen this video, we're going to play it for you now, just so you can see a visual about how our new app works using Silhouette Link technology. Now that you've watched the video, you can see that Silhouette Link links your host computer with your tablet or mobile device and then sends it to your electronic cutting tool, either your Cameo, Portrait, or Curio. Now how does this all work? We're going to start by updating our software. In the right hand corner of Silhouette America's homepage, there's an update software button. Go ahead and navigate to that button. Once you click on it, it'll take you to a page where all of our available softwares are listed. Silhouette Studio, Silhouette Connect, Mint Studio, and Silhouette Link. We're going to be using Silhouette Link today. All you have to do is click which version of computer you have, download the appropriate link, and then run the application. This application is just running in the background. Once you download it, you never have to use it again. Now we're going to head over to our mobile device and see what it looks like over there. Now that we've downloaded Silhouette Link onto our host computer and it's quietly running in the background, we can head over to our tablet or mobile device and download the Silhouette Studio app. Click on your app store and search for Silhouette Studio. Once you find Silhouette Studio Mobile, download the app. Once it's completed downloading, you can open it directly from the app store. When you open the app for the first time, it'll prompt you to log in. Log into your account using your Silhouette login and password. Logging in will give you access to your designs in your library, Silhouette Cloud, and for non-iOS devices, the Silhouette Design Store. To find your recent downloads that you've purchased from the Silhouette Design Store, click on the bottom left corner with the Silhouette logo. You can then choose Library and Recent Downloads and all your downloads will appear in the app from the Silhouette Cloud. Choose whichever design you'd like to cut. In the app, you can then move your design wherever you'd like it and resize it however you'd like. Once you're ready to cut, you can adjust your page settings by choosing the bottom right hand corner settings button. Navigate, navigate to page settings and then you can adjust the size, media type, and which type of cutting mat you're using. By adjusting the media type, I can see all the different settings I'll need for the different types of paper that I'll be cutting with. For this, I'll be using cardstock. If I choose cardstock, I'll then adjust my blade to a blade setting of three, and then send it to my machine. When I'm ready to send it to my machine, I'll use the cut icon in the bottom corner. You can see that I have a green indicator light saying that my cameo is ready to cut. The red dot on the cut icon at the bottom of the screen indicates there is not a machine attached and you will not be able to cut. Attach your Silhouette machine to your computer using a USB cable just like you would while using the desktop version of Silhouette Studio on your computer. Then check to make sure your mobile device is on the same Wi-Fi network as your host computer. Restart the app and you'll get a green indicator light. Once you have the green indicator light, click the blade and it'll prompt you to load your media into your machine. When you hit OK, that'll send your job. So make sure that your media is properly loaded before you hit OK. Even if your media is not loaded into your machine, it'll still begin cutting. Once you finish loading your media, hit OK and it'll send your job remotely and cut out whichever project you're working on. Thanks for tuning in and check out more videos for how to use the app later on.